Yo, 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 YouTube was good, was hood, man. Hey, happy holidays to y'all boys, man. It's December, it's my month. Hood Santa back in the building, dropping some more gems for y'all boys, man. Look, today I'm finna be talking about some. Oh, man, I'm finna be talking about something crazy, man. And you know I'm finna give y'all boys a story time. Y'all y'all, already know I got y'all boys. But look, today, man, I'm finna be talking about the power of leaving women, man. Y'all boys don't understand. Y'all don't. Y'all don't understand how powerful it is when you can just walk away from a woman. Man, oh, man, that drive them girls crazy. It drive them crazy. You get what I'm saying? Listen, y'all, y'all, y'all gotta understand, man. Women and men play live life totally different. Like they we play, we play on totally different playing fields, bro. Like, bro, a woman is never truly lonely. She will always have dudes trying to get at her, always dudes trying to court her, take her out, show an experience, fuck her, all types of shit. So as men, we don't have that shit, bro. We do not have that. We might get a DM from a girl every now and then, and that's like if you look good, but it's like, bro, <laughs> you have to do all the pursuing. You got to do everything. So you don't have anybody just waiting on you. Like, you know what I mean? So I just want to set the foundation, right? So when women and men get into a relationship, <laughs> who has... The most abundance. Who already has an abundance mindset? The woman. It's, 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 it's easy, it's obvious, the woman does. Because a woman will always have options. And it's not even her fault. It's just, they just naturally have a bunch of options because a bunch of dudes are trying to get at them, right? In, in real life, on Instagram, on a dating app, wherever. They always have options. <laughs> so, the woman, if, if her needs are not being met, or she feels like the dude is slacking in anything, she is quick to, damn, leave his ass. You know what I'm saying? She's quick to dip. She's too quick to be like, hey, listen, what you won't do, another man will. I, bitches be love saying that shit. Like, I wish a bitch would say that to me. I'd be like, don't let me block you from your blessings. But that's really how these girls think, bro. It's like, what you won't do, another man will. And they are quick to leave a man. Like, it, listen. If y'all didn't know, if y'all been living under a goddamn rock, bro, most women leave most men. Just think about it. How many times have y'all boys been dealing with a girl? It don't even got to be a boyfriend, girlfriend type thing. Sneaky link, relationship, talking stage, whatever. How many times have you left the girl versus the girl left you? I'm willing to bet the girl left you more times than you left the girl. That's just how it is, man. That's just the way the world works. That's just, it, it is what it is. And when you think about that, you'll realize that most women leave most men. They leave most of the time. They end the relationship 99% of the time. Okay, maybe not 99. Maybe, okay, I'm guessing. Maybe like 70% of the time, 70 to 80%, a woman is leaving the man. Like it really takes a lot for a man to, to leave a woman. So that being said, when you walk away from a woman, bro, it's like, what the, f what, what the fuck is going on? Who, who does this nigga think he is? I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, it's crazy. The reaction you will get from a woman when you leave her is different. Is different. Or when, 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 or. When she says, hey, I don't think this is going to work out. I think we should take a break. I don't think we should see each other. And you like, okay, yeah, you're right. She's going to be like, what the fuck? Nobody else does this. Every other dude is begging me. Like, no, baby, no. No, 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 no. No, baby, please. No, no, no. Everybody else is begging me. Why are you not begging me, nigga? Why are you not on your knees begging me to stay with you right now? Listen, man. When you have, when you have that ability to, to walk away from women... It is a superpower, bro. It is a superpower. And most of the time, that attracts the woman even more. Like, that's the crazy thing. Like, bro, it attracts the woman even more. So, let me just give y'all an example, man. Y'all know I had to give y'all an example. Hold on. What, what is on my phone, man? Anyway, y'all know I got to give y'all an example, man. Look. 
So I was dealing with this chick, right? This was this was pretty recent. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even think it was a year ago. It was probably some months ago. Maybe in like August, like July, August, around that time. So I was seeing this girl, right? She wasn't my girlfriend, but she was just like a it was like a friends with benefits. It was like a little bit higher than a friends with benefits, but it wasn't a relationship. So like I I I, I fucked with her. But not enough to like for me to cuff her. I seen some things that I just I didn't like that I didn't want to cuff her. But she was cool enough to to like you know hang out with outside of sex. So we were dealing with each other, talking to each other, fucking with each other, whatever. And um, listen, eventually, man, she was she got tired of it. She was tired of us not being together, us being together. Because listen, man, women. Women want a relationship eventually, bro. Like, they, the whole sneaky link, friends with benefits, they gonna get tired of that shit. Like, you know what I mean? They gonna get tired of that shit eventually, bro. And if you're not, like, they, they, they wanna be in a relationship eventually, bro. Like, that shit might be cool for a couple months, but eventually they gonna try to push for a relationship. And if you're not giving it to them, if you're not giving them that security of a relationship, they're gonna go somewhere else. So eventually she got tired of the whole friends with benefits, like just not really giving it the title, just, you know, I'm doing my thing, she do her thing. I'm not giving her that boyfriend energy and all the boyfriend treatment. That's what it was. She was mad, well, not mad, but she was, she didn't like that I wasn't giving her that boyfriend treatment. And I'm like, yeah, because we're not together. I, like, I've I seen some things that I don't, I don't want to cuff you. I'm not going to give you that boyfriend energy. I'm not going to give you that boyfriend treatment, like taking you out, paying for everything. I'm not going to do that because you're not my girl. So what? So she got. She was like, "Hey, listen, I don't think we should see each other anymore because, listen, it's not in her best interest to just be friends with benefits, just for like sex. Like she wants a boyfriend. So I ain't mad at it. It is what it is. So she was like, "Yeah." She, she was like, "Hey," she called me, right? She called me, and she said, "Hey, can you can you come over?" I said, "Yeah, yeah, sure, bet." Went over her crib, walked over. It was like right across the street because my apartment was right across the street from hers, and um. Went over her crib. She was like, yeah, um, I don't think we should see each other anymore. Um, yeah, I just, I don't think it's going to work out. I just, um, I don't think we should see each other anymore. And I, I forgot what she said. I think she, she might have said some other shit. I don't fucking know. But I said, you know what? I, I, I think you're right. I don't think we should see each other anymore. But um, yeah, I think you're right. And she said, okay. And then I said, is that, is, is that all you wanted to tell me? Or is that all you, you invited me over here for? She said, yeah. I said, okay. All right. Well, um, yeah, I, I agree with what you're saying. And um, I guess I, I'll see you around. And then I left. Right? Bro. <laughs> I lie to y'all niggas not, bro. Bro. Maybe like a couple hours later, bro. That same fucking night. Guess who called me on FaceTime? Her, she called me on FaceTime talking about, hey, um, you want to come over? <laughs> <laughs> ah! She called me on FaceTime talking about, you want to come over? Sure, baby. You know I come over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nah, bro. Listen, 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 bro. I, I, bro, I don't, I don't like to swear to God, but bro, right but this is my left hand. Left hand up, bro. I promise y'all. That's literally what she said. She FaceTimed me and she said, you want to come over? Sure. You know what I mean? Don't I? Yeah, sure. I come over. <laughs> Yo. And, and I, well, I ain't, I ain't going to say too much. But, bro, when you walk away or when you're like, you're indifferent, you're like, yeah, I, I think you're right. They go crazy. They don't know how to act. They want you even more because it's like, damn, why is he so willing to walk away? He must be, he's must be higher value than what I thought. Like when you play into that whole, I think we should take a break. Oh no, baby. Why? I really like you. I want to make it work. They, they want you to chase him. They want you to, you know what I'm saying? Beg and plead. And it's like, no, baby, that's not going to happen. I'm not going to beg and, and I'm not going to beg you. If you don't want to fuck with me, cool. Like it's no problem. And she, she, and she's going to be on your body even more is what I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Like when you... When you're indifferent, when you don't care, when it's like, all right, you can go. Or, yeah, I don't think this is... Or when you initiate the, the breakup, oh, woo, woo, they go crazy, boy. They go crazy. 
Telling y'all, man, that's 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 y'all superpower, man. That's y'all superpower. Use it. Use it. If a girl was displaying some shit that you don't like, some traits, acting a certain way, don't be scared to leave her, bruh. Don't have that scarcity mindset. Have an abundance mindset. Don't be scared to leave her. Trying to tell y'all, do not be scared to leave her. It's a superpower. I'm telling you, she she's either going to act right or she's going to leave your life for good. Either way, it's a win-win. But, um... And you know, you know what the, the crazy thing is, bro? You know what she told me afterwards? She said, I said, I think we talked about it that night when she invited me over and we, you know what I mean? We talked about it and she was like, um, no, I think I was like, yeah, so, so what happened? To, you know what I'm saying? You think we should end it? She said, she said some shit like, yeah, I just, it just, I, I was just feeling that way at the moment, but then it just happened so fast. You were just, you were just so willing to, to, to leave and just let it go. I just, I, I felt weird. You know what I'm saying? I wanted you, to, I wanted you back. I wanted you to come over. That's literally what she said. She said, I was so willing to just leave. You were just so willing to just, to just agree and be like, yeah, you're right. I don't think it should work out. And that's why she wanted me to come back. That's what she said. So, hey, man. <laughs> These women are hilarious, bro. I, hey, I love them. I love them, but they are hilarious. But listen, man. I just want y'all to take from this video, man. The power of leaving women is, is undeniable. It's different, bro. It hit different. Because, and you want to know why? Because most men are not leaving women. Most men are begging women, bro. Most, most dudes are just begging and pleading that girl to stay and to, like all this extra shit, double texting them and texting them to come back and like, no, when you honestly do not care and you're like, okay, yeah, you're right. I think we should, yeah, I think we should break up. Yeah. I think it's, it's time to, it's time to end things. They don't know how to act because most men don't do that. Most men don't break up with them. Most men aren't cool with it. Most men are trying to beg and plead and crying and shit. So, yeah, man, that's that's all I wanted to tell y'all, boys, man. I just thought that story was funny as hell. But uh, hopefully y'all got some gems from that. But, uh, yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe. Um, December, listen, December's hood saying this month. We going up. We fucking going up, man. I The numbers are going crazy. Y'all boys is crazy. Y'all boys been Y'all boys been showing so much love, man. I appreciate it. Um, I definitely got some more videos coming, man. But um, I'll see y'all boys in the next one, man. Peace.